Tony, great to have you again. It's great it's to like be here. Every time you come here, your valuation is doubled. <laughs> it's an interesting trend. So uh, um, they got a new term for startups that have raised more than a billion dollars. Minotaurs, so not unicorns, a different kind of mythical creature. Um, and you've got some data from Second Measure suggesting that you're pulling ahead of Uber Eats right now in the delivery game. Is all of this money necessary because you think it's a winner-take-all market? Well, DoorDash has been you know, pulling away from the entire crowd for the last 15 months. We've been the fastest growing in the space and are on pace to be number one. And the ambitions never started, nor do they end with restaurants. So this capital that we announced yesterday, $400 million financing, is really about pulling forward the future and serving all the businesses on the streets. All, meaning what? Like delivering not just food, but all kinds of things? Yeah, well, today DoorDash you know, offers the widest selection available with restaurants, delivering from over 300,000 restaurants, which is you know, two and a half times more than any peer out there. And we do that with the most exclusive brands, the top 100, more of the top 100 brands than all of our peers combined. But DoorDash's capabilities can go beyond that. You know, today we are Walmart's largest partner for delivery. We deliver, um, you know, for over 70, in 70 markets for over 550 stores, their groceries. I want to ask you about Lyft. Um, looks like they're filing to have an IPO. How do you see uh, Lyft coming to market, maybe others like them, kind of in the delivery game as well, more people than items, though, having an effect on either your valuation or your path to, to an eventual IPO? Well, I think a lot of people are recognizing the convenience economy, you know, whether it's in ride sharing or in the delivery of things. I, I think that we're still at the very early innings of the industry. I mean, if you look at a deli delivery, only 5% of restaurant sales today are delivered. If you compare that to where online travel is, you know, 40% or even e-commerce, 13%, we're at the very earliest innings. DoorDash, in many ways, is allowing these brands for the first time to build their own e-commerce channels. If you're Chipotle, you can sell delivery through the DoorDash app. You can sell it through your own app as well, and a dasher will fulfill either order just the same. Same can be true and will be true of retail, where DoorDash is allowing these retailers to compete against the likes of Amazon. What's more exciting to you right now, restaurant delivery or grocery? Well, we're focused on the core business, you know, uh, continuing to accelerate first and getting into number one there first. We, we have a lot of uh, merchant services that we want to keep investing in to help these business, businesses grow. One of them is Dash Pass, our subscription program, where for $10 a month you can get unlimited deliveries. That's the biggest, by our estimates, in the on-demand food space today. It's certainly the fastest growing, adding 30,000 customers every week. We want to give that to all merchants in the U.S., where we serve over 80% of households. We have to do that in Canada as well. You know, in Canada today, we cover a small percentage of the population. We want to serve every address, not in the U.S., but also in Canada. So this year, we're focusing on that with restaurants. And certainly with DoorDash Drive, that's the name of the platform product that we offer merchants to offer their own delivery. That's going to go into grocery. That can also go beyond food. I want to go back to the fact that you have this partnership with Walmart. Um, you know, we talk so much when it comes to delivery and logistics about Amazon and the Amazon effect. Walmart's an exponentially bigger company, and they're growing very aggressively in things like e-commerce and, and grocery delivery. I'm not sure investors are paying enough attention to it. Um, but we have recently seen them part ways with some of the other delivery companies that they're working with, like Delive. What's it like to work with this company, and what is your expectation in terms of that partnership moving forward? Walmart's been a great partner. I mean, we, we started small in, in, a partner, in a pilot a year ago where we launched in one, one market, six stores. Today, we're serving them in 70 markets, 550 stores. So Walmart has really grown its relationship with DoorDash, and they've been fantastic partners in getting both the technology as well as the operations right to get something complicated like grocery deliveries to work. i got to ask you about this tip thing. Um, there's a controversy about how, uh, what happens when a dasher delivers me some food and I say I'm going to give them a tip. Can you fix this tip thing? I, I understand that you, you delivery services guarantee a minimum payment to uh, the drivers, the delivery people, even if the order itself doesn't cover that. But if I decide to give a certain amount of tip to the driver, I expect that to go into their pocket, not to cover a minimum payment. I mean, it, it feels like a lot of these delivery companies, you guys are, are, are breaking my expectation as a user. We built the pay model at the beginning of about 2017 after months of extensive testing with dashers 
And we only rolled it out you know, in Q3 of 2017 after taking into account their feedback. And, and the dashers have spoken. They're making more with this new pay model. And actually, under both you know, pay models, one that accounts for tips and one that doesn't account for tips, DoorDash's contributions are exactly the same. Um, to dashers. And so dashers are making more, their satisfaction is higher, their retention is higher, and customers are getting their orders faster and more on time. So if I start just tipping in cash, that's okay? That's okay. okay. That's it, 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 customers are getting their orders much faster because dashers are accepting more orders more consistently as a result of this pay model. Well, there we go. Minotaur and Unicorn. I guess you can be both at the same time. Uh, DoorDash, $7 billion valuation. That's around the same as Grubhub, the, the public company, right? Yeah. Ticker symbol Grub. Yeah, yeah. that's right. Tony Shu, thank you. Thanks for having me.